What's up, guys? It's your girl Veronica back. Um, this is my son awkwardly sitting in the back of my car. Don't mind the mess. Um, I just wanted to let you know I am here at the Dollar Tree. I did just finish a transaction for you guys to see everything that I got. Um, I will let you know some of my coupons didn't go through like I wanted them to. I had to take a couple things off and I did not get to um, recording it because I did spend such a long time in there because there was a new cashier and this store is brand new as well. Um, this would be my third trip with the Dollar Tree. Sorry, this guy almost hit my car. Um, third trip with the Dollar Tree with coupons. Yes, coupons. Um, sorry, that was there. And this is the result of everything I got. And I also have the receipt for you receipt gurus who love seeing the receipt. I will show that at the end though. So I got a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 items. My son has the alligator and we don't have coupons for that. But I'm just going to turn the camera around if I can. And show you them that Dollar Tree. So this is the Dollar Tree I'm at. Um, these are my items that I've gotten. Okay, so I'm going to show you everything. I'm not sure if you guys can see it. So I got fruit roll-ups, Lysol, carefree items, finished tabs, a planner, construction paper underneath here, and all of this junk. Um, scrubbing bubbles, drop-ins. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, a propel water. My son loves propel. And a little plunger thing because I thought it was cute and it's for my husband. Just because it's funny and I'm doing that for him. Um, but these are all the items including my son's alligator. Um, so on the finish tabs I had a $2 off coupon and he had to overwrite it for a dollar and basically got these free for both of them. I had a 50 cent off coupon for these. Should be showing you guys the barcodes in case you want to look at those even though you already know. Um, I had a dollar off of two hauls so I got these so I got one free. I had a dollar off on these he had to override it because there was an issue with it. Um, but these were a dollar each and I got a dollar off both of them so I got these free. I had a 50 cent coupon off of the Lysol disinfectant wipes. Everybody knows what these looks like. Um, I had a dollar off two fruit roll-ups. I had two of those coupons so I got four of these. My son is going to love these for snack time. And then of course I got like the planner, the propel, and my son's alligator which don't have coupons for so I'm gonna show you the receipt I'm gonna slowly like slide it up for you guys nice and slow my car is like on so it's like shaky here let me turn that off real quick there, maybe the car won't rattle so much and you can see better so so far trying to let it focus these are all the items it does show all the coupons they took off manually backwards in this freaking thing and then my total my total came out to 985 for 17 items 985 is amazing but I just want to let you guys know that I that that I went to Dollar Tree and I got everything situated and I got a, some stuff for free so that's all you need to know. My um, finish wipes or finish uh, Powerball Maxa ones for my dishwasher were free. My one of my hauls was free. My carefree was free, and then two of my fruit roll-ups were free. So that was really really nice, and it worked out really really well. And I actually had a management manager who knew what he was doing with the coupons. Thankfully, I literally walked around the store forever just to wait for him to come back from stocking. Because the other cashier was going to go on a smoke break. And she didn't know how to do coupons. But she knew I was walking around with them. So I was just patiently waiting for him to finish what he was doing. So she can go out and take a break. 
Um, she ended up wanting to watch me do my coupons because she was learning. That's how I knew she was new. Um, so if you guys are out couponing at any store, regardless of what store it is, please be patient and respectful. Like sometimes it does get frustrating. Sometimes it is hard knowing that you have things to do and you're trying to get in and get your budget range filled and get everything that you need for your household. And then you got somebody that's new that doesn't know what they're doing or somebody that doesn't want to listen. It's okay to walk away. It's okay to say, no, I'm not going to do this. I'll put it all back. I apologize. I just, I need to get my stuff together. Don't push it on them. Don't make it feel like they're, it's their fault. Because you never know. They could be having a bad day. They could be new. They could just not even know about coupons at a certain store. It just, it happens. And a lot of the times these cashiers aren't trained for coupons. And when they're trained on coupons, they're trained to um, only read the description to a minimum. And when they do that, they typically don't pay attention. And they try to tell you that it's only a limit of one coupon per transaction per item. When they're really not reading the full description. Sorry, I get people like looking at me. It's just new being a YouTuber. So, but anyways, be respectful and don't be afraid to walk away. Put things back and peace out, you guys.